Hey guys, what is going on? It's Dynasty Reloaded coming back at you guys once again, and today we're pretty much doing an easy quick tutorial where you can make blocks fall pretty much like everything is going to be um, grapple, which I mean you don't really want that, but it's still a tutorial that you can do, and there's a way to make it swear you could put um, commands on it, so whenever you type in a command it'll make it swear it happens, but I'm not going to show that in this video. Just because of time, that takes a little bit longer to like just handle everything out. So I might add it as an extension to this video later on. So you're gonna to want to make an event handler, make it public void, and then on block placement. Actually, no, you don't want to make placement, just place. And now block place event. And we're going to rename that to event. So that's pretty much the easiest part of this. So if event.get block and then get location and then after you the location you want to subtract zero one up oh, this is the one in the middle and I'll explain what all this does in a second so dot get block get the type and as long as the type is not material dot air and you can end that line so we can import material now and block place event anything that you're renaming up here is going to have to be renamed except for string that's like the one and only I just put depression it's not it that's not right <laughs> deep hold on deprecated all right get depression uh, decaparation. Deprecation. There we go. So now what this is saying is get if the block location under so it's minus one on the y axis so it's x y z so minus one so underneath it is not or get the block type of that block underneath you and get the type of the block and if it is not zero or if it is not air, then you want to return. So that means it'll keep running that event until there is a block under it that's not air. So now you can event dot get block dot get world dot Right here you want to spawn falling block and you want to make it material. So right here you want to do event dot get block dot get location. The second one's gonna be event dot get block dot get type and the third one is going to be get block dot get data and that's it for that line so once you close that out it should okay this is what's wrong with this there we go. So we need to add event onto the beginning of this. Event dot get block. There we go. So it should, if you do it right, get data should have a line underneath it. And yeah, so after that part it pretty much gets easier. Just make another line underneath it. That is event dot get block 
dot set type and it's going to be material dot air and that's it for this tutorial actually but I'm going to explain it for you guys so if during the event it's going to get the block get the world and spawn falling block so each time there's nothing underneath it it's going to go down one block in the event it's going to reload the world with that block underneath it spawn the falling block as one under it and it's going to get the location of the block get the type of the block and get the data of the block to move it down until it's zero or it's going to replace each block by air that's on top of it so you can save it and you want to make a new file this is pretty much elementary for you guys or should be by now plugin.yaml and we're just going to get it from one of our old ones so we're just going to get it from fireworks which I haven't shown you guys how to do yet I'm going to show you guys that next time is that not open? there it goes and this one I do have a little bit of difficulty with sometimes but we're going to name this falling blocks change this and since I made it a funky name just for tutorial purposes so you guys can see what it could be it could be anything you want but it's just however you want it you don't want to use it over and over again because it will mess up and dot falling blocks and you can delete this you don't really need it save refresh and export so bucket copy just see all the thing I'm using it as a excuse so now I already have it opened up so you can see bucket copy right there and we're going to go into the server now oops and we're going to reload the server oh reload <clears throat> there we go it inks everything down there and every time you place a block it falls so say that there's coal on top of it no matter what it's going to look like stone on top but if you use wood of any type it's always the same so if you put it on its side it's going to fall like that put it up and down it's going to fall like that it's pretty much like I was saying it's the same as gravel for the most part and yeah so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial or want more remember to rate comment and subscribe comment to tell me what you guys want to see next because I can pretty much do a lot of stuff right now as you guys can see see how there's water underneath the block in it you can't put it on top of the water source or directly on top of water it will block it it's kind of cool I guess because then you can make like a floating block here and it kind of looks cool But anyways, like I was saying, if you guys want a specific tutorial, just message or put it in the description so I can see it. Or not the description, but the comment section below. And as you can see, I'm working on the survival store or survival games with the store as of right now. So make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, and later.